Hello, second graders. Today, this week for your tech assignment, we are practicing, we are practicing flip grip. So we're going to be doing a steam activity with you this week at your house. You can find all the materials for this, uh, for this steam activity at your house. Um, and you're going to be using Flipgrid to explain this activity, just like you've been doing for Miss Flannery and uh, Miss Heron. You're going to be doing it for me too this week. Today, um, sorry, for this week, your STEAM challenge is you are going to be using paper rolls that you find with toilet paper. So if you have used a roll of toilet paper and you have one of these, you can absolutely use one of these. These are going to be what we're going to be using for your STEAM activity for this week. The more of these you have, the better and the more creative that you can get. On this slide right here, I'm explaining to you the STEAM activity for this week. You can also find the uh, the prompts of what you can make on the next uh, <clears throat> on the next Google Doc right next to me. If you click where it says paper rolls right next to me, you can actually click and click on the hyperlink and it gives you this entire uh, template right here. So we're going to go through this template right now. On this template, what you're going to be doing for me is you're going to be using as many paper towel rolls as you can to create these different objects. So the first one, for example, for right here would be make a roller coaster. So you need to use all of the paper towels that you can use or sorry, the uh, toilet paper rolls that you can find and you can actually create a roller coaster. Um, you can also choose to do any one of these. There's so many that you can choose. The idea is, is once you create one, you use the flip grid on this page, on this actual hyper uh, doc template. And I'll show you where that is to post a picture or a video of what you created. So you can make a roller coaster. That sounds super fun. You can make a castle. You can make a noise maker. You can make a mini planter, a launcher. You can make a vehicle, a bird. You can make a playground or an animal with these, okay? And let me show you what different options are that you can do. So I'm gonna show you right now how you're gonna use Flipgrid to show me what you created for your STEAM project this week, okay? So you all have access to my digital classroom. And what you're going to do is we already went over, if you're looking where I'm circling right here, I'm circling with my cursor, if you click on the paper towel rolls, it will give you a little hyperdoc that you can click. If you click that, second graders, it will bring you to the template that you can actually see what you can create, like the castles or the animals. All right. Here are a couple of different options. They do not need to be this in depth. You do not need to color them as long as you create and make something that looks something like any one of those options. So look, here's a castle, pretty little castle. There's also some examples of different animals here that you can make. So there's a penguin, there's an owl, looks like there's a polar bear, maybe like a little fox. You would use one of these paper towel rolls to, to, to create. The most important part about this week's tech lesson, boys and girls, is this part right here. If you see where I'm circling right here, it says Flipgrid. Okay, we really want to give you plenty of um, practice, just like how Ms. Heron, Ms. Bex, Ms. Flannery, Ms. Uh, Stokes and Mrs. Pacifique may give you. You will also get practice from Mr. Wynn for the next couple weeks because you're going to need to know how to do Flipgrid. So if you click the Flipgrid, it gives you a little hyperlink right here that you can barely see. But if you click that, it brings you to a um, Flipgrid. And if you click the green plus sign, you can actually record yourself doing the STEAM activity. So once you're done creating like a castle or an animal, you would take whatever you created, you would click on that hyperlink right there, and you would record yourself, and only Mr. Wynn and your friends in your classroom will be able to see it. So you're going to use that Flipgrid to show me what the um, end uh, result of your STEAM project was. Okay, Right down here, after you're done, if you feel like you can use more, Mr. Wynn has also given you an intro to code.org. We have never done this with Mr. Witten before. We did a couple of ones during Christmas. We did a couple of ones during February and January. We did one back in October and November, but we never have done this first one. This one's called Dance Party. If you click on the code.org link right there, which says code.org, and you click on Dance Party, I have assigned you a fun, awesome coding activity that you can actually use to learn about sequences and loops.
Okay. Great job this week, boys and girls. I hope you have a wonderful week and we will see you soon.